In this video we're going to show you how to mask a van in order to cut a skylight and avoid any damage in the process. We're also going to give you some tips on how to position the skylight perfectly. On this van we're just getting ready to fit a MIDI HECI which is a 500 by 700. For positioning purposes we want it right up against the front beam uh, from the inside uh, and we also want it central so the easiest way to line it up is to actually line it up from the inside. So we found the best way for us is to use a cardboard template which is the exact size of the opening required for the HECI. We place this underneath centrally, hold it in place with magnets and then drill a small hole 10 mil in from each corner. So now we go to the outside of the van and in each corner we've basically got a two and a half mil hole. So now we put the cardboard template back on the top of the roof. We line it up with the four holes. To make sure it's aligned we drop the shank of a rivet through each hole and then put a couple of magnets on to make sure it doesn't uh, get moved out of the way. Because there are so many contours on the uh, roof of the crafter or man, um, what we're doing here is basically making the initial line with one inch masking tape. It's just a bit more flexible than two inch. With two inch it'll start diverting all over the place um, because of the different ridge lines and it'll be difficult to get it to stick in a straight line. Once we've got a decent line with the one inch masking tape, then we basically layer it up with two or three layers of two inch tape on top. This is to make sure that we fully protect the metal surface um, or the bodywork whilst we're going around with the jigsaw. The motto always is better safe than sorry. And another couple of minutes masking something up is way better than the pain dealing with a scratch that you've got to get body repaired or explain to a customer that you've done damage to their van. So better spend another couple of minutes masking it properly and protecting it. So here we are on to the next stage of masking. This is a six meter wide paint masking sheet. It's not particularly strong, but it's easy to apply and does give us total body protection from any swarf that's being bounced around on the roof. We found with the six meter wide one, once it's fully opened up, it does pretty much cover both sides of the van um, down to about the center of the wheels. So um, perfectly adequate for what we want. What this sheet won't protect against is hot swarf. It'll melt straight through it. So that's where our second layer comes in. Around the cutout where we're going to be using the jigsaw, we use uh, masking paper. This is quite strong brown paper. It's a, nearly a meter wide and we'll put this all around the perimeter and tape it down onto the tape that's already there. Having cut out the center of the plastic. A lot of people will look at this and probably say we're going overboard, but bear in mind we are working on a customer's brand new van. We are more than aware of how much damage you can do by carelessly cutting out um, windows or skylights on a van. Whether that be just standing on the roof, kneeling on the roof, that leaves dents, cutting it with a jigsaw or um, angle grinder without any masking or preparation. It doesn't bear thinking about, in my opinion. Problem is, if somebody sees somebody um, performing that sort of action on a 10 year old van on YouTube and they think that's the correct way to do it and there's no consequences, they then do the same thing to their one year old or brand new van. There's plenty of people converting brand new vans for themselves these days um, and then wonder why a couple of months later they've got rusty marks everywhere. Um, so, you know, we're just showing you how we do it and we think this is a pretty good way of making sure that you don't get any damage to your vehicle. 
So we've just finished the masking of the paper. Now in the holes that we've got, which are 10 mil inside of the corner, we're going to start the, the corner off with a 20 mil cone drill. Each corner is opened out to uh, about 20 mil. We're then going to come in with the jigsaw with just a standard metal cutting bit on it um, and we're going to carefully follow the line of the masking tape. We tend to find that we can do all of the cutting on the on the roof from ladders either side. In fact there's very little um, that we've ever done to a van where we felt the need to actually climb on the roof. Where we have needed to get on the roof, what we used to do, uh, we don't do it now, um, but we used to use like a crawling board, but we'd put like a three inch sheet of foam on the roof before we put the board on, which spread the weight out a bit. And that way you can be sure not to do any damage. The only trouble with that, swarf gets all under the foam. And then by the time you want to do it next time, you feel like you probably ought to chuck the foam out. So it sort of defeats the object really. Um, but it's just, just my two penneth on it. So here we're starting to do the saw cuts. Just go in between the holes that have been drilled in each corner. Once we've done two sides, what we always do is basically put um, a little strip of wood under the corner, just lift it slightly, um, put the strip of wood under the corner, that supports it. And then if you repeat that as you go round the um, as you go round the panel, you put a piece of wood under each corner. What it does is stop the cutout falling into the van when you're finished. This saves having somebody inside the van trying to catch a piece of metal that's got sharp edges. So this is the finished cutout. You can see the amount of swarf that's just gathered inside. What we've done inside the roof is actually make like a, I don't know, I call it like a, like a paper hammock. So we've basically taped up some paper underneath the hole that just catches all the swarf that's going inside the van. So you can see how much is just gathered. Now, if we hadn't caught that with our little paper hammock, and that would just be spread all around the inside of the van. It's going to find its way down under the floor, around the sides. Basically, the swarf will bounce and find its way into the worst places possible. So if you've made it this far, listening to me bang on for 10 minutes about sort of protecting a van from swarf, then thanks very much for watching. If you found the video useful, then please consider subscribing to the channel hope to bring you um, the complete build series on this van and the next one and hopefully we'll well we hopefully i'll get a bit better at uh, presenting the videos and editing them so they're not quite so boring so thanks very much for watching